Hey, welcome back to the Consulting Mind. Today, I'm going to walk you through why the rising 10-year bond yield scared a lot the stock market recently. And you are going to master it, the logic behind in less than 10 minutes. So let's start with uh, what's happening in the 10-year US bond yield market. As you can see from the chart, early on this year, the bond yield is just about 90 basis point in early January. But then it rise gradually with an uh, increasing momentum to almost 137 basis points yesterday. So it means a rise of almost 50 basis points. So what does this 50 basis point mean to market? I'm going to further illustrate that with two examples, with two perspectives, such that you will have a more concrete understanding of that. The first perspective and the first example is related to the US government debt. Now the US government debt is about 21 US dollar, 21 trillion US dollar. So every 1% of the increment of the interest rate cost will cost them an additional of 200 billion US dollar. Okay, again, 21 trillion US dollar debt. 1% of, of that will mean 200 billion US dollar. So a 50 basis point increase of the cost will mean uh, 100 billion US dollar cost as an incremental basis. So that's a very huge number. The second perspective is uh, in terms of the percentage. As mentioned, the yield has rise almost 50 basis point. So 50 basis point relative to the early yield of 90 basis point, meaning that um, over half of the incremental percentage in terms of percentage. So 50% increment. If we put that into some other example, like put into S&P dividend yield contest. Nowadays, the S&P dividend yield in average is about 157 basis points. So it means about 1.6%. Uh, so 50% increment will mean the S&P dividend yield will up to 2.4%. That's a very um, significant increment, right? It's something, right? So I think, I hope with these two perspectives and example, you will be able to understand that this 50 basis point increment is not a small one, it's a very, very significant one. And then we can go into further details. As mentioned before, the 10 years bond you up about 50 basis point. But what about the other maturity? What about the others one? As you can see from this table, showing the US government bond yield from the shortest one, one month, to the longest one in the right side, 30 years. You can see from the left side, which is highlighted in the green box, showing that the uh, short-term yields basically didn't move a lot, keep about the same rates during the last two months. But then if you look at the right side for the longer terms, maturity, like uh, 10 years and 30 years, you can see obviously the yield has rise a lot. So what does that mean? The short term use is telling us that market perceived the short term liquidity didn't change a lot and is still very sufficient as reflected in the relatively stable yield. But then the longer term maturity bond is telling us that uh, the inflation is coming and it's coming quick because longer term maturity bond is an indication of the market expectation towards the future inflation outlook. And then you may wonder what is supposed to be happening. Rising inflation seems to be something great because rising inflation means the economy is getting better. It means the economy is getting back on track and getting recovery from the COVID-19. It should be beneficial to a fundamental perspective. Because think about that. The global central bank like the Fed, the ECB, the Bank of Japan, they have tried so hard in the previous year just to hope that the inflation is kind of back on track, like reaching the level of say 2%. And now it comes, it finally appear again so it should be something good at the first glimpse. 
And then the rising bond yield should means that the bond is going to the bear market because rising bond yield means the dropping bond price. So it should be beneficial to the other asset class like the equity market because the money should flow away from the bond to the equity. But since the market is uh, telling a different story, as you can see from the recent news, from the recent commentary and the reaction from the market, seems that they are worrying about the rising bond yield. And when I'm saying the market, I'm not saying the bond market, but the equity market are also worrying about that. So what is the logic behind? So what exactly is the equity market worrying about the rising bond yield? Let's start with the stock valuation issue. Think about that. How any stock price is calculated or valued is based on the div dividend discount model. What is the dividend discount model is that it says that any stock price, the value is based on the future cash flow discounted at the risk-free rate. The aggregation of the future cash flow discounted back with the risk-free rate will be the present value. So in short, the stock value is the summation of all the future cash flow discounted back as a risk-free rate. And then the next question will be, what is the discount rate? The risk-free rate will be the 10-year US bond yield because it is considered one of the most safest assets on earth. So all assets will be anchored and benchmarked with this 10-year US bond yield. So here's come to the final part. So what does the rising bond yield mean? It means that the discount rate will be higher. So it means that all the future cash flow will be discount at a higher rate. So the value will be lower. If we put that into some technology stock context, it will be even more easy to understand the logic behind. Let's say, uh, why the stock price for some stock like Amazon, uh, like Apple, is so high? Because investors believe that this company is able to generate, to deliver some uh, high corporate earning or dividend in future, right? In future. Back then, when the interest rate, when the discount rate is low, the cash flow will be discounted back as, as a higher present value. But now, as the risk-free rate, the bond yield is coming higher, the future cash flow brought and expected by those uh, technology stock will be adjusted downward accordingly. So that's the reason why some stock like Apple is dropping even more than, than the others one in the previous uh, week or month. Second issue or second concern from the market is they're fearing the end of quantitative easing or the overall easing environment. Think about that. Why the equity market rise so much since the outbreak of COVID-19 despite the worsening fundamental economy is because quantitative easing. Central bank has con conduct a massive scale of quantitative easing, injecting a huge amount of liquidity into the market. So that's the very fundamental reason for the skyrocket of the asset price of different sort. So who decided to kill your policy? Central bank, right? It's, it's very obvious. But then when will the QE end? Fundamentally, it means when will the central bank consider it will be an appropriate timing to end the policy? And what is the rationale and consideration behind this? As said before, Inflation and the employment is the two most critical factors when the central bank doing their monetary policy. So when the inflation is rising or the inflation expectation is rising, reflected by the 10-year bond yield, what does that mean? The central bank might exit the QE policy earlier than the market has been anticipated. So that is what really the market is fearing about the end of QE triggered by the rising inflation. So now I think this video will be able to uh, explain to you why the market is worrying about the rising 10-year bond yield and the logic behind. If you think the video can help you, please help me to click the like button and subscribe to the channel. See you soon.